Repeat. Repeat. It's a stinking repeat. I called it. Tw That's it. That's all you need to know. Done. Video over. See you later. Just kidding. Coach John here. 21.2 is 17.1. That's it. That's it. Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. You guys are getting to do 17.1. If you weren't into CrossFit then, you are in for a treat of a workout. And when I say treat, I mean that in big air quotes. We are talking about one of the most painful workouts I may have ever done, uh, simply because it was my first open, and it was also the first year that they introduced the dumbbell into the open. Let's talk about some ways to warm up, some quick tips, and things you need to keep an eye on during this workout. When it comes to your warm up, you already know I'm going to recommend GoWad. Like I showed you in my last video, they already have a 21.2 pre wad and post wad mobility circuit that you can follow, and you can do it for free. So go ahead, jump on that, add that into your warm up. Other things I would definitely suggest doing would be getting on the rower, right? Making sure you're getting big long pulls on the rower, making sure your back and your hamstrings are loose and firing. I would even do a few burpees, small amounts, nothing crazy. Practice your tempo, practice dropping to the floor with a little resistance. And even though we just did like 500 double unders last week, I would jump rope just a little bit to make sure that your shoulders are warm and your calves are fired for all the jumping because you want to make sure that you are feeling strong in every aspect of this workout. Now 150 reps of the 225 are the dumbbell snatches so you don't want to wear out your shoulders but you do want to make sure that you get in some practice reps. Make sure you're able to stack your joints, your wrist all the way down to your ankle should be in a straight line. That's going to make the weight feel lighter on your body. Make sure you're doing that with each and every rep. This next tip is for the average crossfitter. Break up your dumbbell snatches early. I'm talking like after the set of 20. When you get through the set of 20, maybe in the set of 30, break them in half. Do 15, then do 15. Cruise through those burpee box jump overs. You're going to need to slow your heart rate down just a little bit. And a burpee and a box jump are not the best ways to do it. So make sure that you are controlling your breath as you go to the floor and you are making sure to not hold it through the whole movement. Neil Maddox, who was on with Sean Woodland calling the announcement, he made a great point about these burpees. You want to make sure you're getting to the floor as fast as possible. And doing this means not stopping yourself from getting to the floor. One of the athletes was taking their time, getting their chest down to the floor by putting their knees down, then their hips down and locking out their arms as they press to the floor. So instead of just flopping down, they were like, boom, and doing like a negative push up. Now this may not seem like a big deal because you're just lowering yourself down, but what's really happening is you're fatiguing your triceps and your chest that are very important to get that lockout here, right, for that dumbbell snatch. So make sure you are trying not to stop yourself from hitting the floor on your burpee. An interesting thing I saw in the standards that you may have missed is that you are allowed to jump over the box completely, but that you have to land with two feet, right? You can't land one foot and then the other, and I'm guessing that means no superhero landings. Wait for it. Superhero landing. Yeah, that's really hard on your knees. Quick thing about the standard for the dumbbell snatches, they have changed it. So now when you lock it out overhead, you can drop it to your other hand on the way down. You do not have to wait in order to change it below your shoulder. If you watch Justin Medeiros' blazing fast example, he was locking it out, dropping it, catching it in this hand, riding it down to the floor, touching both heads to the floor before ripping it back up with the alternating arm. And this workout, just like countless other open workouts, is going to come down to how well you can breathe. If you can control your breath, you're going to be able to cycle through the dumbbell snatches better. You're going to be able to cycle through your burpees better. You're going to be able to keep jumping on the box. So maintain your breath. Let that dictate how fast you go. And then when you need to push, push. I wouldn't be a good coach if I didn't say this. If you've never snatched 50 or 35 pounds in a dumbbell before, 150 reps is not the way to start. Modify the weight, do the scaled version, save your shoulders, move on to your next week of training, and let's get ready for 21.3 together. Guys, good luck out there in 21.2. I'll be back at it next week with a 21.3 video, and I'll let you know how my 21.2 attempt went. If you're not following me on my socials, check those out. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button, and I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Later. Bye.